As Americans, we all know that the Constitution and Bill of Rights protect God-given freedoms, like speech and religion, from government overreach. That means the government can't tell you what you can say or how you can peaceably practice your faith. But it's not just the government that can overreach in ways that threaten these core freedoms. My name is Jeremy Tedesco. I'm Senior Counsel and Senior Vice President for Corporate Engagement at Alliance Defending Freedom. Today, American values like free speech and religious freedom stand in the way of a totalizing worldview that seeks to convert as many institutions as possible into tools to force conformity and silence dissent. A significant front in that battle is corporate America, where major businesses like Amazon, Apple, Google, Facebook, and Twitter have amassed unprecedented power over what people can say and what information they can access in the digital public square, which for better or worse, is where most people access news and debate the issues of the day. And all too often, these big tech giants cave to activists, demanding that they use their power over speech to cancel and deplatform anyone who disagrees with their extreme views. But the situation is worse than just being kicked off a social media platform. Major financial institutions are also under significant pressure to debank people and organizations who don't bend the knee to the latest orthodoxy. And some appear to be caving already. Last fall, J.P. Morgan Chase denied payment processing services to conservative group Defense of Liberty, claiming that an event featuring mainstream Republican speakers violated a vaguely worded policy that allows employees to deny service based on a user's viewpoint. Although J.P. Morgan Chase apologized in reverse course, we shouldn't be duped. We've seen this same tactic from social media companies. Apologize for censorship until you think you can get away with it, then stop apologizing. You know the saying, Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Well, at ADF, we won't get fooled again. That's why we created and launched a business index that will help you assess whether America's biggest companies respect free speech and religious freedom, and what steps they can take to be known as companies who do. Whatever your politics, I hope we can agree that instead of using the cultural power of their brands to drive division, business leaders should commit to respecting everyone, regardless of their religion or ideology. The Business Index looks at 50 Fortune 1000 companies in industries with the greatest potential to affect free speech and religious freedom. Many are household names, including the companies I've already mentioned, plus brands like GoDaddy, Bank of America, and Airbnb. There's no way to sugarcoat it. The results of the initial Business Index are deeply concerning. Benchmark companies scored an average of just 12% overall. Keep in mind, these are companies that provide essential services to millions of people and organizations every day. While no industry performed well, there were a handful that scored very poorly. Computer software companies averaged just 6%, while internet services and retailing averaged 8%. The financial and data services industry didn't do much better, coming in at 11%. These abysmal results paint a grim picture of corporate America's respect for religious and viewpoint diversity. The threat that these large, publicly traded companies pose to free speech and religious freedom is real. People and organizations shouldn't have to fear that they will be censored online, lose access to their bank accounts, or be denied other services because of their religious or political views. The Business Index exists to counteract this threat. It helps business leaders measure their respect for religious and viewpoint diversity. And more importantly, it provides resources they can implement to foster a business culture that respects customers' religious and political views, cultivates a viewpoint diversity in the workplace, and reflects a commitment to the principles of American democracy. It's time for corporate America to end their complicity in woke cancel culture and stand up for freedom, opportunity, and democracy. Find out more at viewpointdiversityscore.org. Also, subscribe to this channel on YouTube, and don't forget to click the notification bell to make sure you never miss an episode.